this is what I say about independent film. Somebody told me this a long time ago. They said that a first time director is a lot, it's a lot easier to work with a first time director than a first time producer. And that's true because a director is, a, is, a, is, a, is typically an artist that has a, a vision for a story and they, they have, they have a, some type of instinct about how they want to tell it. Producers get lost, you know, if you're not an experienced producer. You know, there's a lot of glory with the business, a lot of potential, uh, money to be made, and producers sometimes, to me, get caught up into the glory of the business, you know, and they can sidetrack a project, you know, real quick. So, for me, um, the problem was, is, and, and, if, and if producers aren't educated about um, how to take a film, get a film done, get it finished, get it sold, you know, that can hamstring a project, especially if they got a lot of power. For me, uh, with, as, as with a lot of independent films, we got caught up in this. You know, you, you, you start an independent film, and all of a sudden the producers want to run with it and say, uh, what do we need the artist for, the director for, let's run and let's go make a whole lot of money. It doesn't really happen that way. You know, the, 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 the filmmaker is, has to be an integral part of the project from beginning to end. And it's a, it's, a, it's a struggle, you know, with independent film. So it's not ever going to be easy. So uh, I, got, I got caught up in that with this film where we, uh, um, we, we, we were dead in the water for a, a, a number of years, you know. And then once that happens, typically the, the money and the producers, they all split up and you're left with the film. So then I have to piece it together and, uh, and get it finished and, and, get, and get it out. The money's out there uh, for film. It's just that, uh, um, you know, you gotta have a way of, 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 of ha creating an exit strategy for, for troubled assets. The money initially came from uh, NBA ball players Charles Oakley and most notably Kevin Edwards. Okay, Kevin Edwards played for Miami Heat, the Nets, Vancouver. Uh, of course, Charles Oakley played with the Bulls with Jordan and he played for the Knicks. These guys made it, and Antoine Walker, uh, who played for the Celtics and, and, and the Miami Heat and some other teams. These guys made it possible. Without them, there's no film, you know, plain and simple. What you really need is business people, you know, not necessarily athletes. Athletes um, are, are, first of all, a great help, okay? Without uh, athletes and, and the money that they spend, a lot of stuff doesn't get done, okay? So the athletes are necessary and are helping. They're helping. But the athletes themselves need the business people because in their investments and the things they do with the NBA, the, there are business people that connect with them and they make the NBA happen. It's the same thing gotta be with film. The business people have to recognize that this is a lucrative uh, business. This is a, uh, you know, this is, don't believe the hype that eight out of 10 movies don't make money. That's true. But one reason is we don't have the business acumen in the, in the field that to, to, make, to, re, to reverse that statistic. Like I say, the, the, the business initially fell apart and um, then we had some other important people, Rachel Walker and LaTroy Jones, uh, Alan Thomas, you know, some, uh, so, some, some investors come in and take great chances. I mean, come into a, a trouble project. We had some people who are part philanthropists and, and, and part business people who uh, rescued the project. 99 Ways is, you know, we're kind of like a record label with filmmakers as artists. So we're, we're not a company that's centered around a director, but we're a company that's, that's a, a collective of filmmakers. So we do, within 99 Ways, have this little, uh, um, this round table, you know, where we all contribute and, every, and we all offer each other solutions and, and things like that. So we do, but we do, but we're just a small entity with a very, still very little collective resources. So if, if we were able to connect with other 99 Ways type, you know, organizations around the country, then we might be able to get an answer that we don't have or a resource that we don't have. If anything, you know, it would be nice that, that there's some kind of a, a um, you know, think tank or whatever for independent, something that coalesces independent filmmakers uh, together so that they can share stories, uh, resources, uh, collaborate, especially with troubled films. There needs to be some resource for troubled films because a lot of independent films at, fall into that category at some point or another. They become a troubled film. You know, whether they, they don't have completion funds, uh, whether they have a problem with a, an actor, they got to replace an actor, they got to reshoot, they have to recut. There's, there's plenty of things that happen along the way, and that's where we need help in independent film is with, um, is with troubled films, you know. Not just getting a film financed, 
but troubled films, helping troubled films get completed and get out. And that's where I ran into, I was a troubled film, and it took me a long time to get it together. I'm Harry Davis and you're watching Real Black.